Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. And this is Maggie May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we are in Lower Michigan, Buchanan, Michigan, just across the line from South Bend and Elkhart areas. And we are at a Thousand Trails Park called Bear Cave RV Park. And Bear Cave is unlike any Thousand Trails or for that matter, any other park I think we've ever been in. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're used to hearing that by now, right? I know. <laughs> but we want to start off and show you the park, but definitely stick around to the end of this video because we're going to show you what makes this park so different from any other park we've ever been to. It's like a destination all in of itself. And you know the kind of destinations we like. This place is amazing. It has it all. So come along with us. Thanks. Now, as you come in through the beautiful Michigan countryside, there's a lot of farming in that area. Um, just really pretty area. And we're going to show you a map here of the park. It is laid out in three kind of loops over on the right. The blue are all full hookup and then the other loops are all water and electric only they do have a dump station we'll show you that as we go there are a lot of trees on this road and especially the southbound lane there are some low-hanging leaves but nothing nothing damaging you you'd hear it hit the antenna every now and then the sign kind of sneaks up on you there both directions because of the trees. So definitely if you're using your GPS, pay attention to when it's telling you you're getting close. Now you've got about two tenths of a mile driveway going back to the park. It is gravel as well as all the roads in the park. Uh, and they're kind of sandy gravel so you, they do kick up some dust. So the car got washed a couple of times while we were there. <laughs> Pretty though. Yeah, very pretty. I love the canopy of trees. It always does make me a little nervous when I don't know where I'm going and I'm going down a road like this <laughs> just to make sure I'm going to the right place. But it is definitely the right place. Now, when you get back here, there is a gate across. It's an electric gate. They'll give you a uh, numeric code for it. Just enter the code. The gate moves out of the way. And you're in the park. Now there is a ranger station that's basically just used for if you're coming in after hours. They did give us the gate code on the phone call the day before so we could get in the gate. And you'll see the bear cave sign back there. The office is down that route, but we're going to come back and show you because there's a lot of interesting things down past that sign. So we're going to come back to that. Now, like a lot of Thousand Trails parks we've been to, there's a lot of green space. And the first road that goes off here to the right, between that and the next road is a huge, big green space. It was nice. And it was being used. Kids were playing in it. I saw people playing with their dogs out there. Mm -hmm. There are actually three roads that come back here through the full hookup section. We showed you down the first one. This is the middle one. It comes down along the right hand side of the green space. And when you get back here towards the back of this middle one of the legs, you'll see ahead of us, that's their storage area. And they do have at the back of that storage area, a little trail. Oh, yeah, over on the left-hand side, they've got a nice little trail. There's actually a couple of trails back there. 
you can go from one it crisscrosses over into the other one we'll go on around that curve over to the third leg of the full hookups and right beside that last coach between his coach and that tra uh, covered trailer he has goes back to the other end of the trails there were all kinds of berries growing back there it was very pretty now we're going to come down through this last leg of the full hookup sites and you'll see our coach coming up here on the right The hookups were great. They were all easily located far to the back, so they were out of the way. Picnic tables and fire rings on every site. And a nice amount of space between everyone. Mm -hmm. Now those three legs were the full hookup sites. We're going to come over here you'll see the dumpsters setting over there on the left we're going to come over and go around one of the loops here of the water and electric sites these sites are beautiful they're nice big um, and as the road starts to curve around to the left those sites actually are all backed up to the water mm -hmm. They kept the trees trimmed up pretty good, though. All but one, yes. Yeah. Well, there's a reason for that. That's right. They, they are very good about warning you about the sign that'll be coming up here. They have a historical landmark tree on their property. And there's a sign right here on the left that says low limb, clearance 10 foot, and it is right there ahead of you. So you want to make sure you don't go through there. It's a historical landmark tree that cannot be trimmed. Now, as we come up here, Towards the inner loop of that, you'll have the dump station. And there's a nice little playground and basketball area here. And we'll come back around the inside of this loop. And you'll see their comfort station. Now the front doors there, right beside them, is a list of everything that's happening in their activities. The restroom doors enter from the side. They were nice, big, and clean. Mm -hmm. Not the fanciest, but very nice, big, and clean. And the front doors on that building take you into the laundry. The washers and dryers are all coin operated, so you don't need to get a special card for them. Now we're going to come back out of that second loop we've been in. There's your dumpsters. And we're going back around front by where we came into the park. see the little ranger station up ahead of us. And rather than making a left right here and going out of the park, we're going straight ahead. And this takes us into the third loop. And again, these sites are all water and electric.
there wasn't as much activity over in this side. I think a lot of times people come in and they don't notice that little road going off to the left and maybe don't even find these sites until they've settled in somewhere else. Yeah. But again, beautiful sites. Now that's a maintenance building there where they keep their, their maintenance equipment. And when you come on up here between these trees, facing us there is another shower house. And right behind it is their pool. That was nice too. And a lot of people were using that. They also have a big activity center that they were just getting ready to reopen for the season. Yeah. Now that activity center was like for their get togethers. It had a big grilling area out in front. Oh, yeah. But this one is like their fun and game center. When you go in, there's there's areas on both sides and they are full of games. <laughs> this looked like a lot of fun. They keep the kids busy when it's raining. It did have a movie room in there also, as well as bathrooms. We're gonna head around that little turnaround and come back out through this section. There are a few more RV sites just beyond the pool. We'll show you those here in just a little bit. And kind of how all of these parts of the park connect because you've never seen anything in an RV park. At least we never had seen yeah. anything in an RV park quite like this. We're coming back out now, back up by the entrance where we started. There's the little ranger station. And you remember we talked about that bear cave sign. We were gonna tell you more about it. Their store and office, this is where you come in to check in. And this starts to give you, first thing in the park, what is gonna be special about your stay at Bear Cave. This is the magic. It is. First of all, it's beautiful back here. Yes. The trees, the foliage. You'll see the sign there says Bear Cave. It doesn't say Bear Cave RV Resort. There's a reason for that. There is the office. And when you go in the office, they've got a history about the, uh, uh, the Indians that were native to the area, how they discovered uh, a lot of this. Yeah. But going from the office, you'll go down four flights of steps into the bear cave. Now they do give you what they call a bump hat. And it's a good thing. Yeah, I think we both hit that hat uh -huh. a couple of times. There's a couple of places that are a little bit low. We were both grinning the whole time. This was so cool. Now the cave was an admission. I think it was three dollars for adults, a dollar and a half for seniors, and I think kids were up a dollar and a half. Well worth it. Yeah, it was just amazing. It's it's a loop cave underneath where the, the office building is. And you'll see that it's kind of wet. There's a reason for that we'll show you here in a moment, but it uh, has a little gate that goes on outdoors that's locked. They keep sure the traffic goes through the office so you've got your, your safety gear. That part there was a little bit more wet, so they've got a nice little bridge built across it. And it's also nice and cool down there. Oh, it was. It brings you back to the steps going up really cool formations down there. That's why we said there was water on the ground. There's yes. also a natural spring and fall located right there by the, the cave. 
In fact, when you walk down past the falls, you'll see the gate from the outside that we saw from the inside. So right there in the park, you've got a waterfall, you've got a cave. I asked them if most of their campers took them up on this, and she said quite a few did. It's nice to see that it's being appreciated and, and being looked at. She also said people from outside the park would come in and tour the cave. Yep. Now right behind that, there's another little area of uh, non-sewer sites and that goes up to their boat dock. And they've got a beautiful boat dock right there. And a beautiful spring-fed, 100% spring-fed river. Mm -hmm. It goes for miles through a couple of uh, states. That building was the back of the, the game building and then the staircase going back up. That's good exercise. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. We told you to stick with us to the end and we sure hope you did because this park has it all. You've got a, a great RV park, you've got a waterfall, you've got a cave, you've got the, the river, the, the water down there. It's just amazing. Yes, it is. So I hate to ask, do you have anything else to add? It's a little bit more of an intimate setting, especially for a thousand trails but I have just really loved it here. Yeah, it's not a real big park, um, and they do classify this as a 35-foot park, meaning they recommend rigs 35 foot and under. However, ours is 39. We have friends across the street and a 40-foot. We both have plenty of room. We have for our car, they have a, a four-door pickup truck in front of theirs no problems whatsoever. So even if you're coming in in a little bit larger rig, the full hookup sites especially, but quite a few of the water and electric sites, no problem at all. So don't worry about the size of the sites like we did coming into this, doesn't matter. You'll fit just fine and the park is definitely worth it. Yes, this is definitely a park that you would uh, come to as a destination and uh, the other things that are around it are just, um, icing on the cake. We came here with kind of a busy schedule and we're already talking about coming back another time when we have time that we can just kick back and relax at this park because it, it's it's great it's relaxing. It is. With that said we hope you enjoyed the video today if you did leave us a thumbs up we sure do appreciate it and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel please do so and ring that notification bell that way you'll know when all of our additional videos come out. And again, thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.